In today's video, I thought we'd take a peek at my big cannon. No, that wasn't my big cannon. You're right. You could tell that clear by the uh, the title of this video of what to expect. And you knew, by gum by golly, that it was not a camera. You are smarter than you look. I uh, guarantee you that one there, cotton ticker. No, uh, uh, <laughs> All right, so here's my big cannon that I bought, right here. That's it. Ain't that awesome? That is a Sig Sauer uh, P238. It's a 308 caliber uh, pistol, and that is a lovely, lovely pistol. Something wrong with that picture right there, I think. I don't know. Never do that, ever. Not even goofing. It's a serious matter. So, as you can see back here, I have an ornament of, uh, of uh, ammo. Small little cache to start off with. This here is, uh, I have no idea how many grain that is. Box didn't say. It might. Couldn't see it, but I'm blind. And, well, end of that story. These right here are 50 grain, and these here are 90 grain. These are uh, full metal jacket. This is full metal jacket hollow point. Uh, let's see here. So the gun, isn't that a beauty? That's a absolute beauty. You, uh, to uh, open it up, you need to, uh, need the air coil. And so you, right in here is where the air coil goes. And you got to make sure you got this completely disengaged, right? And then pop that out. And then you can put in your, your new air coil. And uh, when you tighten that down, it'll breach the tip. And that's, that's uh, let's leave that out for safety reasons. And that's what helps make the uh, projectile, well, projectile. You uh, put the bullets in up here in the top clip. And well, there we go. Pull this little lever back right here, and then you drop the uh, cartridges right there. And I don't, uh, I don't remember, but I think this takes uh, like 20. And here in California, that's illegal because you could only have a a uh, 10. Uh, round clip but hey what the heck so definitely uh, empty chamber uh, we have a safety trigger right here as well as uh, a safety lock right there so this will not uh, fire even though the trigger goes off but you have to have this engaged and then it will actually fire but again you got to have the uh, cartridge in here to help project and as you saw this is been breached so there's no air in there to make the projectile uh, do its thing and you clip this doodad back on here All right and then uh, well, safety was off so now, with the safety on, you can't even pull the trigger. It's okay, because we ain't got no bullets in there. So, put the clip in there, and it's ammo. And now, you too could be like Matt Dillon, or somebody like that. Right? Ain't that awesome? 
That is a beautiful Sig Sauer P238, 308 caliber. Shoot some awesome array of ammo. Yes, that was not the real, real thing. That, boys and girls, is a 45 auto replica. That is a BB pistol. I bought this thing like, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, bought that at the uh, Walmarts, I believe. I remember. Been a good little, uh, little toy. However, you do gotta admit, nighttime that would probably look like the real, real deal. You didn't know. You know it's old because it don't even have the orange tip on there. I like that gun though. It feels really good in the hand. Bang, bang, bang. All right, for real. Here is the real deal. This is the real, real, real deal right here. This is a Sig Sauer. Well, I'm not going to repeat it because you already read the title. Really cool. Before I get started, though, I do want to uh, give a big shout out and a big thanks to Lucky Larry. Uh, I've peppered him with tons of questions over the course of, I don't know, what, about a month, three weeks. And uh, um, he definitely uh, came back and, and uh, answered all my, my dumb questions and gave me a lot of good uh, pointers and, and resources and, uh, and everything like that. And Lucky Larry, I can't thank you enough for, uh, for helping me out. So if you guys are not familiar with Lucky Larry, you're not subscribed to his channel, well, I strongly suggest you do check the link below because there will be one to his YouTube channel. If you're into vintage electronics, radio specifically, then uh, so is Lucky Larry. If you're into vintage guns, well, so is Lucky Larry. If you're into vintage women, well, you're weird, you're on your own. Lucky Larry's not into vintage women. He's into PYT, you know what I mean? Pretty young things. So uh, you'll have to go elsewhere for your gilf uh, fetishes, I reckon. Anyway, onward and awkward. Okay, so here is what I have. Comes in this very, very fantastic California DOJ approved case. Now, I am in California. Uh, we have a lot of weird, odd rules, regulations stipulations, all kinds of stuff. And, and the one thing is, is you have to have a California DOJ approved case to keep your gun locked in at home or in transport, etc., etc. I know in a lot of other states, that's weird stuff. You don't even have to do that. Uh, here you, you have to take a, a test to get a permit to uh, get the gun. So which I did. Comes in this really nice, like I said, carrying case. We've got some foam right here. Uh, we have a, a really nice book. And if you're unfamiliar with the gun, or just, just whatever, I haven't really read it. I thumbed through it. Um, a lot of good information in here. Tells you all about your gun. Tells you how to tear it apart, clean it. Uh, accessories, etc., etc., all the junk that uh, you'll need to know. Like I said, I haven't read it. I just thumbed through it. That's what us real men do, right? You stick that prominently on your car. That's a humongous sticker. What else do we get for our money? Well, we get the lovely case. We get this awesome baggie. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Underneath this, we have our lock. That's right. Because this case has to be locked in transport. Uh, you take this cable, you wrap it around the handle a couple times, lock it, and there you go, done. Or you feed it through the chamber of the, the gun where the clip goes out the, uh, where the bullet goes. So, 
that is that. Back to this awesome bag. Got rubber grips. And these can be changed out and they will be changed out later. I have no idea what this string is all about. I mean, do you walk around and carry it like a camera, flashlight? I have no idea. I would imagine it's in the book. But one thing for sure, a little stiff pulling off. So there we go. Full disclosure, I have not fired this weapon yet. Soon though. Pull the uh, case, uh, the mag out. Like so. I've never put any ammo in this gun yet. Safety stuff, make sure the clip is free so we know we're good there. No, no nothing up in there, but of course we can't really tell too well because it's dark in there. So next thing we do is, uh, well, if the safety was on, <laughs> you would just simply take uh, the safety off. Cock it back, and when you do, you push this little lever up to lock this, and then uh, we can see. Well, that's a horrible background. Okay, there. You can see that it's clear. No projectile. projectile so we're good to go see now it is it is cocked will it fire in this status no it will not it will not fire there's a uh, safety up in here again no rounds now it'll fire I always want to pull back like a six shooter now you uh, you could load the uh, magazine with one round and then cock it and now you'll have a round in here and then I'm not getting that on camera very well and then you could load this up with 10 uh, 10 shells 10 rounds and uh, you will be locked and loaded so that would give you 11 There we go. really nice gun feels good in the hand um, the only issue really if you had an issue since it is a smaller gun you know it's perfect for 
concealment is your pinky finger has no rest. Well, a couple of the options I bought was uh, bigger clips, which as you see has a uh, rubber thing on it there so you can't put your finger. And yes, that is what I paid for each one of these clips. 55 bucks for the clips. Uh, the gun. What did I pay for the gun? Well, let's see if I could do this. The uh, $15 is for my my uh, permit, my FC, F, FSC permit, and see uh, see the rest. The 37.19 when I bought the gun. I bought this box and I bought these two boxes here and then uh, when I went back after my 10 day grace period uh, 10 day grace period is called a cooling off period so you don't get upset go buy a weapon and then go use it uh, when you uh, in a scenario when where you shouldn't be to allow you the purchaser to cool down but also what it does is uh, allows the store to uh, run a DOJ check on you just to make sure you're you're good you're clear uh, to own the weapon you're not 5150 mental case or uh, or any uh, other number of reasons why you shouldn't own the own the weapon and then when I picked went to pick it uh, pick the gun up I bought these four boxes right here and these four paid twenty four dollars a pop haven't even opened these up so let's do it now Styrofoam box. Nice little slug. And with some of the goofy laws here in California, um, We do not have access to a lot of the latest and greatest uh, weaponry that uh, that the rest of the states get because it has to comply to California standards, which is dumb. And California is trying to pass a law where even your bullets have to now be registered there. They're not there yet. However, you do have to pay extra each time you buy bullets. So that's what that looks like. I do some damage.
And I guess while we're opening up bullets, let's go ahead and check these out. This is plastic. I remember back in the 80s going down to my local Kmart and buying guns right off the shelf, bullets off the shelf, as many as I wanted, no questions asked. So this here's the Magtech. Still do some damage. And while I was there, I went ahead and bought these. They're just dummy shells, and yes, that's what I paid for it. So, it uh, basically what it does is allow you to practice loading your clip without a live round. Kind of like a hard plastic. I've not done this, so let's see. Just going to put the one in. That would make sense. That's dumb. There we go. I knew I'd figure it out yet. And you notice we got that little pop up there to let you know that you do have a round in chamber. So a nice little safety. I saw some guns that actually had a something else that pop out of the rear let you know that it was cocked but since we got the trigger pulled back uh, we could tell that it's cocked bang and so it, when it does fire it'll eject out of this side of the, the chamber kind of cool And right on the floor it went. So, anyway, that is my new, new toy. Plan on buying more. And when I do, I'll probably demo them as well. So, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Something a little different from me. Uh, a new topic well it's not really new I used to shoot back in the you know 70s and 80s and never needed a, a weapon thereafter and uh, in fact back then I had, um, I had a couple of 22 rifles and I had 357 Magnum I had a 30 odd 6 and I had a 12 gauge. Never shot the, uh, well, I shot the 12 gauge a few times on my shoulder uh, to find out that, yeah, I don't really want to do that anymore. That hurts. Oh, yeah, that's better. Looks nice. So. That is awesome. 
So I'll get more clips later. The uh, modern events makes uh, makes one think about things. I really can't do this. Let's lose more bullets on the floor, shall we? Oh, okay. See where it went to. The, uh, the scope here, you line these three little white dots up. Like so. You can't get a little uh, laser for it, may. Definitely get different handles. Might get um, some American flag handles, red, white, and blue. Maybe go pearl. Really not sure. But a fantastic little um, concealed weapon. Might need to recap this. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. Let's see if I can lose another one on the floor. Yep. I did. Okay. Very cool. Thanks a lot. Do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. And, uh, When I take it out shooting, maybe I'll get some footage of it and uh, demo that at a later time. Thanks for watching. I enjoyed it. Catch you guys later. And again, a very, very big thanks to Lucky Larry. See ya. So here we go. Three, two, three, two, one. Go. <laughs>